Welcome to this spoken tutorial on examples through AMEDIT. In this tutorial, we will learn to open and simulate different Modlica library classes. To record this tutorial, I am using Open Modlica version 1.9.5 and Ubuntu Linux OS 14.04. But the process demonstrated in this tutorial is identical in other OS such as Windows, Mac OS X, or Fossey OS on ARM. To practice this tutorial, you should have OMEdit installed on your system. You should also know how to work on the OMEdit window. If not, please go through the previous Open Modlica tutorials on this website. Let us switch to the OMEdit window. On the left side of the OMEdit window, we see the library's browser. Here, we can see a list of libraries. Let us expand the Modlica library. To do this, click on the arrowhead to the left of the Modlica library. Now, I will demonstrate an example from the electrical library. Expand the electrical library. Click on the arrowhead to the left of the electrical library. Under electrical, we find analog library. Let's expand the analog library. Once again, we see many different libraries displayed. Now, let's expand the example library. Here, we can see different examples of analog. Next, we will open the class named Rectifier. Right click on Rectifier and select Open Class. We can also double click on the class name to open the class. Now, we are in the modeling perspective window. By default, the class opens in diagram view. I have already demonstrated how to switch between different views earlier in this series. Now, let's switch to the text view by clicking on the text view icon. Here, we can see the modeliger code pertaining to the rectifier class. Before simulating a model, we need to check for the correctness of the model. To do this, first locate Check All Models button on the toolbar. This button has white colored double ticks on it. Click on it. Immediately, the Messages browser opens at the bottom of the window. This will show messages pertaining to the Modlica class. Now, let's try to simulate the model. On the toolbar, click on the green colored arrow button. This is the simulate button which is used to simulate the model. We can also press Ctrl and B keys to simulate the model. On simulating, a new window opens. It shows the compilation process of the class. Once the compilation is successful, the output window displays the message. Simulation process finished successfully. Close this window. By default, the plotting perspective should now open in the WAM edit window. If it doesn't open, click the plotting button at the bottom right. We can also press Ctrl and F3 keys to open the plotting perspective. Here, we can see the simulation results of the Modlica class. At the right of the plotting perspective, look at the Variables Browser window. Under Variables Browser, we will learn to change input variable values of a Modlica class. By default, IDC equal to 500, losses equal to 2890.26. Change the value of IDC and see how the values of losses change. Let us change the value of IDC from 500 to 250 and press enter. Go to the top right corner of the window. Click the simulate button. The success message window will open. Close this window. Once the simulation is completed, note the changes. Loss is equal to 1756.77. Now let me demonstrate how to generate a plot. 
we will generate a plot between losses and time. Click on the checkbox against the losses variable. We can see a plot between time on the x-axis and losses on the y-axis. This plot describes the power losses for the diode bridge varying with time. By default, the simulation runs from 0 to 0 0.1 unit time. We can vary this interval using the simulation setup option. To do this, go to the modeling perspective. Click on the modeling button. Click on the simulation setup option on the toolbar. The simulation setup window opens. Here, change the start time to 0.01 unit. Ensure that simulate checkbox is checked. And then, click on OK. Immediately, we see the success message window. Close this window. The class is re-simulated with a simulation interval of 0.01 to 0.1 unit time. Let's delete these results. To do so, right click on Rectifier and then click on Delete Result. The result has now been deleted. Now, I will demonstrate an example from Mechanics Library. First, we will expand the Mechanics Library. Under Mechanics, we find Multibody Library. Let's expand the Multibody Library also. After this, let's expand the Example Library. Here, we can see different examples of Multibody Mechanics. Next, we will expand the Elementary Library. Let us open the class named Double Pendulum. To do this, right click on Double Pendulum and select Open Class. The class opens in Text View. Now, click on Check All Models button on the toolbar. Observe the Messages browser. This will show messages pertaining to the Modelica class. Now, let's try to simulate the model. To do so, click on the Simulate button on the toolbar. Once the compilation is successful, the plotting perspective opens in the OM Edit window. Under the Variables browser, let's expand the damper variable. By default, d is equal to 0 0.1. Relative angular acceleration equal to 11.567 and relative rotational angle equal to 4.1. Let us change the value of D from 0 0.1 to 0 0.05 and press Enter. Then click the Simulate button. After completion of the simulation, observe the changes. Relative angular acceleration equal to 15.449 and relative rotational angle equal to 4.359. Now, we will generate a plot between relative angular acceleration and time. Click on the checkbox against a underscore rel variable. We see a plot between time on the x-axis and a underscore rel on the y-axis. This plot describes the relative angular acceleration varying with time. By default, the simulation runs from 0 to 3 unit time. Let's change this interval. To do this, go to the modeling perspective. Click on simulation setup option on the toolbar. The simulation setup window opens. Here, change the start time to 1 unit and the stop time to 5 units. Ensure that Simulate checkbox is checked. Then click on OK. We get the success message window. Close this window. The class is re-simulated with a simulation interval of 1 to 5 unit time. Once the necessary plot is generated, we can delete the results. In the variables browser, right click on double pendulum. Select delete result. The result has now been deleted. 
let's summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to open and simulate different Modlica library classes. As an assignment, expand magnetic library in Modlica. Simulate saturated inductor class in flux tubes library. Change the values of few input variables and re-simulate. Generate a parametric plot between I and loss power of variable R. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. The Spoken Tutorial project team conduct workshops, give certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. Do you have any question in this Spoken Tutorial? Please visit this site. The FOSI team coordinates coding of solved examples of popular books. We give honorarium and certificates for those who do this. For more details, please visit this site. The FOSI team helps migrate commercial simulator labs to open Modlica. We give honorarium and certificates for those who do this. For more details, please visit this site. Spoken Tutorial and FOSI projects are funded by NMICT, MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial is contributed by Kaushik Datta and Priyam Nayak. Thank you for joining.